Hi guys, and welcome back to another short online tutorial based in Photoshop with myself, Jack. I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics, and yet again, it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you here today. The reason why we are here is to discuss how we would create text stroke cutout effect, as you can see in front of you here. It's a very cool effect, and yet again, used across many forms of graphic design and very trendy. As you can see, the text is interacting with the main figure of this design i.e the dolphin so what i'd love to do today is show you how to do it it's very very simple but yet again very very effective okay so i have the uh, image open up on another tab and i've already placed the typography onto our design now the first thing that you need to do is to make sure you get this dolphin on its own individual layer OK, so what I'm going to do is highlight the image layer and I am going to use my object selection tool. I'm going to make my life easy and use select subject. Perfect. I've used Adobe's AI uh, system there to select this dolphin, making my life super, super easy. OK, so now how would I get that dolphin on its own individual layer? I'm now going to use a shortcut of Command J on a Mac or Control J on Windows, which duplicates a layer. But because I have a selection, it will only duplicate what's inside that selection. So now if I press Command J, I now have the dolphin on its own individual layer. OK, so what I need to do now is make a copy of um, the type layer so yeah again i'm just going to simply press command j on mac or control j on windows to get a copy i'm then going to rearrange that underneath um our dolphin layer here i'm going to call this dolphin just to make sure it's uh, easy for us to understand there we go so we have the original image as our base layer we have the typography the dolphin on its own and the typography again okay so what I'm going to do now is apply a stroke to our Save the Oceans, the very top typography layer. You can do that by going to Effects and going to Stroke. Or if you simply just double click the layer, this will bring up your layer style. And then what I'm going to do is apply a stroke. So if we now come here, let's keep it at 10. White would be quite nice. I think the position is center would be quite cool. And let's keep the opacity to 100. Now, if I press OK, nothing's happened. OK, what you would need to do now is remove the fill, not the opacity, the fill of the top typography layer to zero. And there you go. The beauty of this also now as well, where we have everything on its own individual layer, if I was to press command on Mac or control on Windows to highlight the two typography layers, if I use my move tool, wherever I move my typography, it will always be interacting with our main dolphin because of the arrangement of our layers. So guys, that is how you create the text stroke cutout effect. Trust me when I say a very, very popular type of design. And as you've seen, a very, very simple way of doing it. Guys, if you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics and the courses that we offer, please, please don't hesitate to uh, visit our website on www.blueskygraphics.co.uk or check us out on our Instagram page at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Guys, have an amazing day and see you soon and enjoy designing. Take care.